Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create an icon text reveal like so. So as you can see, we've used this little race car image to sort of reveal the text coming in right here. And we've added a nice little background right there as well. And with this, we have made it so that all you have to do is just go into the essential graphics, drop on a new one, and you'll have some text to create, click on it. You can change the text to, you know, really anything that you want. So, you know, maybe you want Los Angeles. California instead. And now whenever it comes in, it's Los Angeles, California. So it's a very customizable thing to do. And it's fun because you can put any icon you want to fit whatever the content is. So let's get started on this. We need to do a couple of different things to pull this effect off. First thing we need to do though, is to create ourselves a new sequence and then drag in whatever footage or whatever edit we want to work with. And then we're going to actually build the effect on top of that. First thing is to just create our text. So just click anywhere to create the text that you want. So in this situation, um, I, you know, you can type something like placeholder text. Whatever you type here, this is the maximum that you want it to be because you're going to be setting up everything around this. So make sure that you don't just type in, you know, a couple letters and then have it overrun later. So type out whatever you need. If you need to add up a couple little extras or something like that, so that you actually fill out the area, then do that so that whenever you put in your text later on, you won't have the problem of overflowing your text box because you only plan for a smaller amount of text. So I've placed this little text holder right here and now we're gonna position it where we want the effect to take place. So I'm going to bring it down to the bottom left here. Maybe right about there looks good. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and put in our background right here. So I'm going to go and take the rectangle tool. I'm just going to drag a big rectangle across the entire thing here. Click OK on that. Or you can also just drag one out to wherever you think it's going to go. So I could do it right there. But I like to do this because uh, I use the crop later on. Your choice, anyhow, any way you want to. But let's just drag this out all the way over here. And then make sure that this is lined up over on the, the edge over here. Or maybe even just overlapping a touch. Yeah, that looks good right there. So then we're going to go into the, the shape right here that we've created. And we can rename this to... Uh, right click on it, rename it to background by going over to the effect controls, finding it in the effect controls, right clicking on it in the effect controls and then clicking, clicking rename. We're then going to take it and we're going to drag it beneath our placeholder text so that the placeholder text comes above and then just adjust it so that the placeholder text is centered. Just kind of have to eyeball that one. And that's looking pretty good. Now we're going to go into the effect controls down to the shape background. Then we're going to go ahead and go down to the transform property of that. Then go into the opacity down here. We're just going to drop this opacity down a little bit. We don't want it to be too big. I mean, of course you can, if you, if you want it to be a color or you want it to be really strong, you can keep it up there, but I like to bring it down so that it just gives a little bit of a background for our text. Next thing we need to do is we need to add in our image. So whatever image you want to use, download it and put it in a folder that you will can easily find, then we're going to click on our graphic layer right here. Make sure that both of them are in the same graphic layer because we're actually adding a third one into this. You can see there's not two layers, there's a single layer right here. Click on it, go to your essential graphics panel. You can go to the graphics tab to find that and then click on the new layer button. We want to go down to from file and then just go ahead and find it. Mine is racing right there. And you can see that we have the little race car that pops up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this race car and we're going to go down here to the clip racing. We're going to then go into the position or we can actually click and drag this. Just make sure the position is moving and you're not like moving the anchor point of the entire thing or removing the shape or anything, just the race car where we want to move. I'm gonna put it right where we want and this looks pretty good. Uh, you may need to scale it up or down to fit yours. Like for example, we can make it really big if we wanted to go to the whole text. I kind of like it just sort of fitting right here at 100 where it's basically in the middle right here. We're then going to go to the back to the effect controls, back to the clip of racing, uh, back to our icon clip. Then use this left value, this is the X value, so X, then Y is up and down. So we're gonna drag this over to the left, right behind the text, or right behind the, or the, uh, the left side of the screen, so you can't see it. We're then going to turn on the position keyframe, and we're just going to move forward however long we want the animation to go, maybe like one second, and then drag it all the way across. That's a little bit slow. Uh, so let's go ahead and shrink that down a little bit. Let's bring it back. So instead of one second, maybe we want half a second right here. 
yeah, that looks a little bit better right there. So now what we need to do is we need to reveal this as it comes in. So we want to crop out the background, but we don't want to crop out the image. So how do we do that? Well, we're gonna have to get a little bit fancy with the, the side controls over here. We're gonna go into our effects. We're going to search for the effect of crop. So search for crop. And then we're gonna go to video effects, transform, crop. And then we're going to drag it onto our graphics layer. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna position this crop so that it is below, it is below the shape and the text and it is above our clip. And you can rearrange these and drag these wherever you want. So you kinda wanna have your background on the top, your text, the next layer down, then the crop effect, and then the clip or your icon effect. And what this does is, let's bring this out right here, is it allows you to create a crop on just that background portion. So you're not gonna touch the image, but you're gonna crop out the background portion which allows us to create our effect. Because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the 100% here or the very beginning, and then we're going to turn this up to 100%. So the very beginning of our sequence, turn the right value up to 100%, and then we're going to hit the toggle animation button and move forward to where the race car goes past the point we want. So you can see we're gonna reveal up to that point. So maybe right there. And then we're just gonna leave it there for the rest because what, what it does now is as it's coming in, it's going to track with the race car. And you'll see that we have the, the creation of the effect here. Now, if you'll notice, it jumps in a little bit much right here. So we can do a couple of things here. Uh, one is that we can just go in here and move a keyframe or two. So if we go to the right, maybe we want it to just hold off a little bit longer to maybe right about there so that it's sort of behind the car most of the time. We can even fine tune it more. just to get it maybe right on the back fender of the car the whole time, like so. And of course, it isn't gonna be perfect unless you like go keyframe by keyframe, but now what we have is this really clean effect of the race car coming through and then the text being revealed. Now, last step is really easy. All we have to do is right click on this, go to export as motion graphics template, and then just name it something. Um, I like I put the race car text, we can just put race car text too. Save it into our motion templates go into browse and now we have all we have to do is look for it we can just search it to race and you'll see that we have race car text too so if i delete this out and i'll even show you by going file new sequence okay we just have a blank sequence here i can just browse into race car text too drop it in and you'll see that we have the race car text able to be put anywhere and then we just click on the text to go ahead and add some new text. Uh, you can do a location, you could do names, you can do, you know, number three, Tony, uh, Robin. You know, you can do really anything that you want with this now and the text will work. And if you want to just rearrange the text here, you can do that too, because the crop effect affects everything. So if you want to center it uh, every time or maybe on one of them, you want to bring it to the right, easy, simple to do. Just sort of drag it along that line and Premiere will help you out with that. And now you have whatever you need to do. Drop in your new background right here. And you have your effect. That is the effect. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and that subscribe button and make a video every other day on Adobe related products. And until next time guys, see ya.